Hi everyone. Welcome to module three. In module three, we're going to be looking at elasticity and how elasticity influences decisions that we have to make. So you'll be reading chapter four in your book that'll involve elasticity, and you'll also be reading chapter six. You're going to have the logic, the chapter four logic case, and the chapter four and chapter six quiz. You'll also have two discussion boards, 3.1 and 3.2. Now, with the discussion boards, we're doing very well with the participation. What I want you to focus on is your support and application of the terms. That's very important in your work. I think if you can really focus on what we're try trying to apply the terms in your analysis, it'll help you do well. For example, on discussion 3.1, I'm going to be taking you to an article about cigarette taxes. What you want to look at with taxes is how it decreases the supply and how it causes a deadweight loss and consumption to decrease because higher prices does not help anyone to want to buy more of something. Now in 3.2 we're going to be looking at price discrimination. Now price discrimination is looking at how a person is charged a different price for the same good. For example, if you look at movie theaters, they discriminate because they can charge a different price to seniors compared to uh, regular individuals based off their elasticity. Seniors are going to find the movie more elastic, so they're going to need to lower the price to get more seniors in. So that's the concept we're looking at this week. And elasticity everyone can relate to. When you look at elasticity, we're all very sensitive to price changes. So when we're very sensitive to price changes, you notice that we look at inelastic and elastic. An elastic good is one that when there's a price change, there's going to be a large change in demand. People are not going to purchase it, maybe. Examples of that type of good, when you look at elastic, would be like a luxury good. We don't need a luxury good. Another example would be a good that has many substitutes. Or another example of elastic good is a good that's very expensive, large portion of my income. Now, inelastic is a little bit different. Inelastic is when there's a price change. The, the quantity demanded will be very small. Consumers will continue to buy it. Now, when you look at inelastic goods, those are things like gasoline. Have to purchase gasoline. Toothpaste. Have to purchase toothpaste if the price increases. Another example is um, if there's no substitutes available. So if there's no substitutes available, I'm going to have to purchase the good. There's really nothing else I can do. So that's another example that we're looking at. I think you'll really like this week because the application of the terms. I think everyone can relate to what we're looking at when we try to make decisions. And I think you'll like this because I think a lot of the concepts you can apply in your daily life. Make sure to submit your work on time, but I look forward to your effort this week.